excuse uh, to not make choices that, that at least I hear uh, a lot is sort of the excuse that sort of comes from maybe the more high tech kind of world, which is it's all emergent. You can't figure out what, uh, what direction the world is, is going. So yes, Mike Porter says you should figure out where to position yourself in your industry, but it's all changing so fast that that's a waste of time and you should just, you should just kind of go with the flow and figure it out on the, on the fly. I hear that a lot. I don't know if you hear that yeah. that a lot. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I hear it. I hear it. Uh, you know, a fair amount. Um, you know, uh, you know what what what's the most valuable company in the world? Apple. Apple. Uh, you know, and, and it, it, Apple personifies choice. Yeah. And that's why they're the most valuable company in the world, uh, uh, because they 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 they. they and you know, look at how many uh, you know years and decades you know Jobs was pounded you know for you know being crazy you know because he was making these they had this clarity of purpose and understood that it it was about design and it was about you know engaging with the consumer and kind of rethinking meet, meeting some fundamental needs in a different way. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, there are, when you have an entirely new field, you know, like social media or something like that, there's, there's, there's going to be a lot of experimentation. There'll, there'll be a lot of mistakes made. There'll be a lot of things where you're going to learn, learning by doing. Uh, what I've found in general is a company has to have some hazy, if, if not clear, ha has to have at least some understanding about how they're going to deliver something unique at the end of the day. Uh, that kind of guides them through this process of experimentation. That, that very few companies, certainly in, in more emergent fields, figure out a strategy on day one. They don't quite get, they don't know what the, how the story is ultimately going to play out, but, but they have this insight, you know, that there's something that we're going to do that, you know, we can't find anybody else doing, and if we can... If we, if we can figure out how to do that really, really well and keep learning how to do it well and keep fine-tuning and adjusting and improving, then at the end of the day, we'll actually deliver something different. Um, I think that's the nature of the, of the problem. So I, I, I don't want to make it... Uh, I, so I think, in a sense, you can't have a rigid idea of strategy that's something that you do up front and then you slavishly implement it. That's not the way it works. I mean, Henry Mintzberg's work, you know, had a this emergent strategy notion, there was an important grain of truth there, um, that there is, a, there is a continuous learning process, both because you didn't figure it out and because things change. That said, at the end of the day, uh, what makes a company distinctive is some trade-offs or choices it uh, chooses to make, often maybe intuitively. Uh, and and I, another thing I say is strategy is ultimately you've got to place a bet. You know, you just can't, hedge against all potential futures, because if you do, you'll never ultimately be truly successful. So, so that's uncomfortable. So for those that, that don't want to make a bet and that just want to hedge, I think their, their, their highest and best purpose will be mediocrity, maybe, and survival. But uh, you know, those that want to tru create truly enduring, uh, enduring value for customers and truly uh, uh, unique companies, I think ultimately are, are the people who, who have that sense of what they want to do.